Today, we look at the QK10B Quick Clip from Onstage Stands. Will you have significant time savings with it? Is it durable? And how does it work? I'll show you how it works, test the setup speed and reliability. Thanks for joining me at Smith Music. My name is Paul Smith and I bring you in the studio and backstage as well as do gear reviews and show musicians how to build careers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell. At just over $10, these are the least expensive mic clip adapters that I know of. If you only have a couple of mics in a small studio, these are not necessary. If you're miking a drum set or full band, having these will save you time. The quick clip works by attaching one end to the mic clip and the other to the mic stand. To attach the mic to the stand, align the teeth on the mic clip end to the grooves on the female plastic end attached to the mic stand. Unlike other quick clip adapters, you can choose which way the mic is pointing. After using the other style, I do find this a significant advantage. The spring button releases the metal bar to hold the groove of the male clip end. So how much time will you save? If you're setting up 20 or 30 mics, this amounts to a significant time savings. So let's see how much weight it can handle. I'm going to see if I can break it. For testing the strength of this mic clip, what we're going to do is I have a mic clip attached with the quick clip connector. Everything is secure there. I've tied three sandbags to the bottom of this mic stand and I've had to crank the mic stand down because uh, uh, when I pull up the mic stand just wants to extend as opposed to having the weight transfer to here. So I've got it cranked down and um, let's see if, uh, um, and this is about as much weight as that I, I can pick up with uh, one arm and so let's, let's see how it holds up. So the slipping that happened there was actually the mic stand slipping here. So uh, I would say that's sufficiently strong. The next thing that I'm going to do is see if I can grab the mic clip and um, twist it off with my hand, like break it on a sideways uh, kind of lever action. Yeah, I can't really, I can't really break it that way. Um, so last test, we're gonna do a drop test. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drop this upside down uh, from as high as I can, which is about head height for me. So I'm like five seven, and um, the, uh, and then I'm on a three foot stage. So you're looking at almost be like uh, eight feet that we're gonna drop this and see if it survives. It's hitting, um, I have a concrete floor with com thin commercial carpet on it, really durable carpet. Um, so it's not the big thick plush carpet or anything like that. So let's see if it survives. So I've just picked it up with uh, from a drop from uh, eight feet. It works perfectly still. There's it actually still looks brand new. That did better than I thought. So now it did hit straight down. So I'm gonna try it on an angle because the edges um, will be uh, tougher, and let's see if it'll survive the same fall. So, I never trip my 
equipment like this. This is so, so bizarre. So when I'm looking at this mic end, there is just ever so slightly a slight mar on it. Actually, I wiped it off with my finger, so it was like some dust or something. This still looks brand new. So from a durability perspective, I would give that 100%. I really did not think this was going to survive. So that's, I don't know how I feel about using this mic clip now after having done all that to it. Yeah, I think I'll still use this mic clip even with my, uh, with my good mics. Well done on stage stands for the durability for this uh, mic clip. Having quick clips completely eliminates a very tedious job. There is some play when the clips are attached, but it isn't a huge concern for me because generally you have the mic set up and leave it where you want it set up. It'll rest how it needs to. The other thing is budget. At $10 to $15, I need 50 of these in a studio minimum. It adds up. To me, it's worth the investment. Question of the day. Do you find putting mic clips on and off mic stands tedious? Thanks for joining me in the studio and backstage. To find links to any equipment or software in this video, check out the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one.